During World War II, the Liberty ship Cape Breton delivered supplies to help the war effort. After the war, the Cape Breton served as a training ship. In October 2001, after many years of loyal service, she was sunk to become the world's largest artificial reef. The sinking was accomplished by strategically placed charges of dynamite, blowing holes in the hull below the waterline. On deck, pyrotechnics and barrels of gasoline put on a crowd-pleasing display. The wreck is over 500 feet long, and to explore her full length would take many dives. We began this dive amidships, starting from the smokestack. This video was done seven years after the sinking. Companionways and hatches have been welded open to permit diver access. Feather stars grow in abundance on the railings and bulkheads. Corridors and decks have become a home to a variety of sea life, including this large cabazon. Cloud sponges have also made themselves at home on the Cape Breton. Briefly entered a chamber at the stern, 
and thought of the young man I knew who had lost his life on the wreck after getting lost inside. Swimming over the helicopter pad was like going through an anemone farmer's field. has been removed from the skylight, allowing access to the cavernous engine compartment, which once housed triple expansion steam engines and forms the deepest part of the dive. decks, leaving only bolt stubs protruding from the deck. As I was using open circuit scuba, it was soon time to head back to the surface, leaving the rest of the Cape Breton to explore next time.